that we are made ready by the gospel of peace. That that's how we get ready. You see, here's the thing. Jesus calls his church to the same readiness level that he would call a soldier. Why? Well, we are the soldiers of Christ in the sense. The army of God. We are called to this. And Jesus calls his church to be ready for the fight that's ahead. And the reason he would say it is because many people aren't. Many people are not ready for the spiritual battle that lies ahead. Inevitably, there are many who just aren't paying attention. You just don't see that the spiritual battle is real or don't want to believe it's true. Now, I also think you can go other way, too. And I think there are people that I've met in my life that think every time you sneeze, it's an attack from Satan. I don't think that either. But to really make sure that we are aware that there's a real spiritual battle going on and too many people aren't paying attention to that. Too many people are apathetic to the battles that are raging around us and have been for a long time. Too many people are unaware and distracted, which is what the devil's so good at, is distracting us so that we don't see the truth in the battle. And often we just go through life Another day, another dollar, we get up in the morning, we do our routine, go to work, do our thing, come home, eat dinner, watch some TV, go to bed. And we just go through this routine over and over and we miss what's really going on. And we get distracted by the mundane and we get distracted by the routine and then there are our priorities that get out of whack, our priorities of time our priorities of talents, how God uses our skills, our priorities of even our treasures and how we spend them. And we lose sense of priority in the distraction as we go through the day-to-day minutiae of life. And it's part of how the devil gets us. 